So the key thing here is the new Stelvio, the Julia, and down in the end there, the Julietta, um, with the new Nero design paintwork. And I guess it's so obvious, you can see that, that glitter effect in the paint. How are you, mate? I uh, like it when I enjoy nothing more than a fine <laughs> Italian beer. Let's take a look around this. For me, this car. I didn't realize it was him, but yeah, Tom from Game of Thrones. What is going on guys? Welcome to Steph Baby TV and right now you find me here in Italy in the Alfa Romeo Museum. Tonight is a pretty special night so Alfa Romeo are availing their B-Tech series for the Stelvio, the Giulia and I believe the Giulietta. We're going to find out much more about that later on but I'm here as a guest of Alfa Romeo and the first thing that we've done obviously other than having some fantastic Italian coffee is coming to see the cars here in the museum and obviously right here I picked a rather special backdrop, which is of course the Alfa Romeo 8C. I mean, stunning. I mean, let's take a look around this. For me, this car is so beautiful and in the red as well. I believe this is, is this a Rosso Competizione? I'm not entirely sure, but it's kind of, it's a very blood red looking color. But the 8C, obviously an icon, but what a car. I mean, take a look at the back. This is where the 4C was inspired from. Um, you've obviously got very very nice rear these are worth an absolute fortune and um, I honestly I can't wait to see what's around here in the museum Now this is insane. I've never seen so many beautiful Alfa Romeos in one place, guys. This has got absolutely everything. I mean, for me, obviously the highlight right now is the 8C, but I've got to appreciate some of the cars that are here because, wow. I mean, look, you've got engines out. You've got old cars from 1950s, more engines. In fact, let's take a walk over here so you can see you got the Arbor F1 cars, look, everywhere you look, it's just beauty and wow. Some of you might remember this guy. Hey, camera takeover, knock yourself out. Hi, I'm Steph, ABTV, and welcome to the Alfa Romeo Museum. Um, <laughs> I've just been on a 4D experience and I've waxed my oh, beard boy, midway yeah. through it. I'm not really good at the whole selfie thing though. This seems a... Yeah, the idea is just to look at that though. Don't worry about that. Ignore mm, the muff. Interesting. Muff, so, muff. Tom Howard everybody from The Gentleman Racer. Did you introduce yourself? Uh, no, I'm The Gentleman <laughs> Racer. Uh, not <laughs> Steph. <laughs> and I'm taking you round the Alfa Romeo Museum. <laughs> I don't know which way I'm going. But... I don't know, we just go with the flow. So, what would you like to know? Ask Steph. His phone number is... <laughs> oh, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be seeing plenty more of me later, um, but for now... How's my beard? <laughs> Your beard looks good. <laughs> so we, we were playing this thing where um, we were at security at the airport and we were saying that we were brothers. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, because it's very nice. His one's a bit longer than mine, but yeah. But also, who's older? 
Yeah. That's the key question here. Yeah, I'm trying not to make any facial expressions to give anything away, but... I've got a good plastic surgeon. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's been really good so far, guys. So far, the museum has definitely lived up to its expectation. First time I've ever been here, uh, which is awesome. It's also the first time I've been back in Italy in well over 10 years, and that's pathetic seeing as my mum's Italian, but it is really good. So I'm going to show you around a few more cars that we've got. Anything particular that you've seen that you really liked, Tom? The Disco Volante, yes. I've got to be honest, big, big fan of the Jaguar XKSS and the nearest thing that Alfa Romeo do yeah. is the Disco, the Disco Volante. Volante. It is stunning. It's I want beautiful. one. If anyone has one for sale, I, I, I would like to buy it off you. There you go. Made, yeah, a, made a, a money. Genuine offer. I'll buy the toy car version, but Tom will buy the real one. So for those of you who haven't heard of Tom, Tom is um, obviously the gentleman racer. You can find him on Twitter. It's his biggest platform there, but I'll leave a link to all of his stuff in the description. I've quickly deviated away slightly from the tour of the factory because I have seen this little thing. And my word, is it stunning. Now, what I love about this, and I'm not sure if this is because it's new or this is specced in or it's an option, but the Okrafovich exhaust in the center, that's the way to do it. I really do think that that's the best way to, to have the exhaust on the 4C and it's slightly larger as well. It looks better in my opinion than one on either side. I think that these cars are ideal as second cars but I wouldn't be able to daily one and I absolutely love it. Oh, hello. Quadrifolio behind me there. But um, yeah, I need to go and find the flipping lot from the tour. Guys, we're lost at the moment. Let's, um, let's make our way back and have something to munch. But overall, this, this museum is mega. It's so, like first time in over 10 years that I'm eating proper Italian pasta in Italy. And there are worse things to have over the shoulder than a Formula 3 race car. So let's see if the pasta is still as good as I remember it when my grandmother used to make it for me. And it's good. And it's good. Espresso, please. Thank you. Oh, that's so good. That is a necked espresso, and I need it after the morning I've had. It's been a really early start, so I feel much better now. Let's get going. No, I've just realized only in Italy do you have an espresso machine, a Lavazza espresso machine, on the coach. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Say hello to the vlog. Hey! In introduce yourself. I'm uh, Gracie Opulanza from Men's Style Fashion. Hashtag, we show you how Alfa Romeo in uh, Italy. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody like another espresso martini? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to head into the hotel now. It's got to be done. Espresso martini. Oh, I'm with do you like an espresso martini. martini? I do. It's yeah. really trending very much yeah. for. Um, Afternoon tea in Britain and also in Australia. See, it's trending. Yeah. Here we are. Hi. Now oh, this is nice. So this is our abode for the evening. Little nice room, happy days. Oh, this is cool. Little walking. Flipping out the bathroom is um, bathroom's almost as big as the actual room. <laughs> Oh, got the G7X. Happy, easy camera to vlog with on when you're floating around. Um, much easier than a DSLR. Uh, what's the view like from here? Is there a, uh, oh. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, is this like a little mini balcony? I think it is. There you go. Streets of Turin. Oh, that's quite funky. Good to be back in Italy. It's been far too long since, uh, since I was here. So, uh, yeah, so literally, so for the record, we've just checked in, it's 4.35, and uh, now we're literally just dropping some stuff off, going down to get a drink, because we're really thirsty, we've been on the coach for a little bit. Um, also, I didn't even realize this, but if you guys have watched Game of Thrones, you remember the many-faced god, you know, a girl must do this before she gets this. For those of you who think I'm completely crackers, I'll overlay a quick clip. Give up her ears, her nose, her tongue. But yeah, he's been on the coach. We just completely ignored it because I, I didn't recognize him with the long hair. I didn't realize it was him. But yeah, Tom from Game of Thrones. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely waffling now, guys. But um, yeah, let me get myself ready, freshen up quickly, and then we're going to go to the main event. I'm still in search of that drink. You can see down there the good garden quarters. The hotel's actually really nice. So finally, after a long journey, it's been a long day. We're trying to going to try out the uh, the local Turin beer, and uh, the lady at the bar said it looks rather good. So uh, I think it'd be rude not to at least go local with a fresh brew. So cheers. Oh, that's good. We're not driving today, so we can drink. How are you, mate? I uh, like it when I enjoy nothing more than fine Italian <laughs> beer. That's so that's so gentleman racer right there. <laughs> He's even got the, the drinking to a T. Look at that. Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, please. Just leave here. Yes, please. Two more. This is a really nice beer, by the way. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, these aren't all for me and Tom, by the way. We've got another Metzger. two people coming. Metzger. Yeah. Metzger. We're on our seventh beer. So, what do you reckon? Cheers, mate. No, we're not. This is our first. The first one. Yeah. Well, well earned, though. Well deserved. Well earned. It's well a deserved. Hell of a trip. Can I can I feed it through the lens? No, it's I'll, it's I'll not looking. So whilst every man and his dog is there waiting for the, the press event to kind of kick off, I might as well get here whilst I've got some access to the car. So the key thing here is the new Stelvio, the Giulia, and down in the end there the Giulietta um, with the new Nero design paintwork. And I guess it's so obvious, you can see that, that glitter effect in the paint. It does look rather sick. Uh, we've got loads of people here from Alfa Romeo, UK, Germany, Italy, everyone has kind of arrived, which is pretty mega. But from a first impressions perspective, I really like it. And um, the black looks really nice against the wheels. Really, really nice. I better, um, I better sit down because it's all going to kick off. So, uh, yeah, quick look at the Stelvio. That looks mad. But it's all gone quiet, so let's go and see what's going on. Tech edition is about bringing black back and you can clearly see that from the black Stelvio and also from the black Julia. Also all the chrome has gone on this series and there's a famous photographer, I can't remember his name, I'll overlay some of those photos now and he's obviously done a, a, a fantastic job with regards to marketing the car. Key point to note though is that Stel uh, Alpha are going down the route of trying to make their cars more lifestyle-y which is kind of cool for people like me seeing as that's the content we do create. However, one of the things they have identified is that a lot of the Alfa Romeo customers really enjoy the customization of cars. So things such as the likes of Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff, which you have to spec in on the BTEC range, that will all come as standard. So uh, the IME you can see, it's a whole load of canapes. You've got a load of cars in the background as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. A bit of everything, traveling with Alfa Romeo to Italy to see the museum, to turn around and see the new BTEC range. It's been incredible. Massive shout out to Alfa UK. I'm going to enjoy myself now and I'm going to catch you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.